and the dude didn't say anything. He was like, okay, you passed, there you go, nothing showed up, you know? And I had done cocaine, I had done marijuana, I had done pills that night, I had done a few things. Hey, what is up, you guys? My name's Brittany, for those of you that don't already know me. Um, today I wanted to sit down and kind of record a little mini tutorial, but instead of the usual tutorials, like makeup tutorials and all that good shit, I'm gonna teach you how to pass a fucking piss test. If you've ever applied for a job, most jobs anyway, or say if you're like me and you grew up with a split, fucked up family, and you had a lot of DCF, Department of Children and Family cases, then you had to get drug tested a lot. Um, quick little backstory. I've lived with my grandparents for most of my entire life. My mom's dead, my dad's a homeless drug addict, and when I lived with him for a year or two, I was doing a lot of drugs. And because of that, it, my other family members were concerned, and rightfully so, so they'd call Department of Children and Families, and they'd come over to my house and they'd drug test me because they told my the Department of Children and Families that I was doing drugs, and so they had to come and make sure. And, Long story short, I became very, very good at passing drug tests. So I'm going to share those years and years of horrible knowledge with you now. As a little disclaimer before I get some social justice warrior preaching at me in the comment section, I'm not advocating for people to hide their drug use um, from their loved ones, especially if they need help. Um, it's definitely not what I'm trying to encourage here. I'm also not trying to encourage people lying to their employers. Um, I currently don't have a job, so you can't come for me for that. Uh, but no, I'm not encouraging people to do that. I just know that they're going to do it anyway. So I want to teach them how to do it safely without completely destroying their bodies. You feel me? Cranberry juice, if you think about it, cranberries are used for your urinary tract. They flush your system. If you're trying to pass a urine drug test, you're going to want to flush your urinary tract. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, to do this, you're going to need either Gatorade, water, or cranberry juice. One of those three. Um, I'm sure you could use other juices, but cranberries in particular are especially good with your urinary tract, and that's what we're really focusing on. So my favorite thing to use, also because it takes away the flavor of our next ingredient, is cranberry juice. Cranberries are very bitter, so it's my favorite to use whenever doing this method. So our next ingredient is Serto Fruit Pectin. Now if you don't know what this is, uh, sure gel. Basically, if you've ever bought canned or like pre-packaged fruits, vegetables, things like that, they have you ever noticed that even meat, it comes in like a package with like this, this like gooey, clear, sometimes not clear like substance. Basically what that is is this or a different version of it. And what it does is it keeps the, it preserves things. It's a preservative, it's a fruit preservative, fruit pectin. Um, it is safe to ingest, obviously, otherwise they wouldn't be packaging our food with it. Um, whether or not it is safe to ingest in this quantity directly, I do not know, but I have been doing this for years and have not suffered any sort of consequences from it. So that's just me. If anybody gets harmed from following the steps in this video, I... I don't know what you did wrong. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, if unless you have an allergic reaction to it, I'd... So here's what the package should look like. And this is all you need. It comes... This one came with two packets like this. I already used one uh, from, from a while ago. Basically, you just need one of these though, and you're gonna take a gallon of the water, the Gatorade, or the cranberry juice. You need a gallon of one of those three. I highly still suggest you choose the gallon of the cranberry juice. This stuff, by itself, tastes so bitter. Uh, my first few times doing this method, I mixed it with just water, like a gallon of water. Cause I was like, I can handle it, and I struggled to keep it down. I it forced my gag reflex multiple times, like to trigger, and it's a horrible taste. This is not easy, but we're in this circumstance and we gotta get ourselves out of it, so here's our key. That's why I suggest you use cranberry juice, because cranberry juice is very bitter to most people, kind of sweet, 
So this, it, the bitterness in the cranberry juice helps to distract from the bitterness in this. I'm gonna cut that open, pour it into your gallon of whichever, you know, your drug of choice in this instance. I'm gonna shake it around really well. Like make, this is gonna pour in, and it's gonna be like an off-white color in there, or you can see like the thickness in it. Make sure you shake it all around so it's all through that, otherwise you're not gonna be drinking it and you're just gonna do all this for no reason. Shake it up really well. Now, you do not have to finish the entire gallon, but the more you drink of it, the better. Drink at least half the gallon, at least. And make sure you do not drink it. Listen, drink this shit two hours, no more, no less. Two hours before your test. Because the, the what happens is whenever you drink this mixed with the, you know, whatever you chose, it coats your stomach in a layer of it. So what happens is whenever you go to pee, Make sure, first of all, don't just hold it there and pee right into the cup. Pee a little bit, then put the cup in, like, midstream. Because the pee that first comes out is the most disgusting. Like, it has the most, like, residue. It has the most, like, drugs. It has the bitterness. So, catch your pee midstream. But yeah, back to what this is doing. What this is doing is it's coating your stomach in this, in the fruit pectin. And it's keeping all of the... It's basically flushing all of the nasty stuff out. So before, you know, two hours before the test, drink a gallon to a gallon of it mixed in, you know, of the mixture. Catch your pee midstream, but also make sure you pee multiple times before the test because this is going to make you have to frequently use the restroom for the next good five hours. Four to five hours. You're going to be, you know, back and forth to the toilet having to pee a lot because what it's, it's completely flushing everything out. Like, it is going to be pushing all of that shit out. Like... So by the time you're there to take the test, you're, it's probably, your piss is gonna be crystal clear, like water. So, some places, from my experience, when I was drug tested at different, uh, I was mostly drug tested at uh, these facilities called Gateway. Um, the first Gateway, because they have different ones all around the city. Uh, the first Gateway I went to, they, you know, I, I pissed crystal clear, like it was completely clear, like it looked like I peed water. And the dude didn't say anything. He was like, okay, you passed, there you go, nothing showed up, you know. And I had done cocaine, I had done marijuana, I had done pills that night, I had done a few things. And none of it showed up. And then I went to another facility about a year later to get tested. And, you know, my pee was clear as it was before. I had figured, you know, just do the same thing I did last time. But this guy, it was like, why is your pee so clear? Did you dilute your urine with something? I think we're gonna have to have you come back and test again. And I was like, the last dude didn't care that much. Like, honey, <laughs> I passed, let me go. But no, he was like, nope, you did this on purpose. You didn't pass, you made yourself pass. So that being said, be smart. This will make your pee clear, crystal clear. So if you wanna add color back into it, vitamin B12. Go to the drugstore right there on the counter, vitamin B12. Now, the reason I say this is if you pop like a vitamin B12 or two before, also two, two to three hours before your test, the same time you like right after you do this, it's gonna add the yellow color back into your pee. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. So then they can't tell, at least it did for me, and then they can't tell that you diluted it if you do it all right. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm trying to think of more things to add, but that's just about it. It's really all you need. Good old Cerdo, some vitamin B12, and either juice, cranberry juice preferably, water, or Gatorade. There you go, your little cocktail to get a clean piss test. Please use this information wisely. Do not use this to harm anybody or yourself, especially. Please be careful. Please treat your body with respect. Treat other people's bodies with respect. Try to be clean if you can. I know that's easier said than done, but if you can't, I hope that this alternative works well for you, and I sincerely hope that you're doing okay, and that you take good care of yourself, and that you stay out of fucking trouble. If you can't be good, you better be good at it.